Yeah. Well, oh, I don't know. It's from yours. Ah, okay. Okay. You did it. You did it? Does it feel better? Huh? Does it feel better? in the garage again so I think it was Tuesday I put the oil pump back on and here we are Sunday morning again I'm going to remove the water pump and hopefully install it and put the tensioner pulley back on and you know the oil stiffener the oil pan I kind of, I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but really need to get this done. Um, it's getting colder here. I don't know what, I don't know how cold it is right now. I'll have to check that out, but it's getting colder here faster. So I really need to get this done. So I'm going to start removing the water pump. So the water pump is supposed to have five bolts. And there are, pretty sure they're 12s. I gotta check. Yep. 12. Hmm. Might have to. This is the impact socket. I might have to go find an actual comb one. Because that looks like a tight spot. Not that you can freaking see it. I don't have the best lighting. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry for my crappy lighting. It's not very good. But, it's what I gotta work with. I don't feel like taking 20 minutes to do that. Probably gonna.
That's two. Okay, got one left to break loose. So the last one I had to break loose is right underneath that pulley. Neat, okay. Oh, man. I was gonna get stuck if I kept going like that, so. Whoa, didn't. Just take it out in my hand. It's kind of in a hole. Yeah, kind of get it. Wheel. Once I get this bolt out, I'll send the, the camera down there, so hopefully you guys can see. So, there's all the bolts for the water pump. There's five. That one was the last one I took out that was up top here. You notice that one's a little bit shorter, so I gotta remember that that is the one that goes way up here in this corner. camera pointed this way this time so hopefully the light doesn't freak on it so water pump finally got it out it was six volts maybe I just read it wrong but this one was still on there so it wasn't coming off super easy so I was like what there's got to be another one <laughs> but here's the inside but this is the part where as or uh, there's a gasket <laughs> so that actually doesn't get into the water pump like here that's just from 
over the years. I'll have to try and reuse this too, because uh, this did not come with any new ones. But that's the old water pump. <clears throat> the new one I got is uh, from Gates. I actually got a whole kit, timing kit. Um, and so the timing kit also comes with this water pump. So that's the new one. Um, I've talked to a lot of people or people who own probes on, uh, there's this probe Bonsta uh, group on Facebook that I use a lot and I asked people if these timing kits from Rock Auto are any good and they recommended Gates, mostly Gates, but yeah they did, they use it quite a bit, Rock Auto. Um, Rock Auto doesn't really work for everybody, not all vehicles, um, but so far I've used a lot of parts from them for the probe, and it's fine, but my, then again, it's a probe, you know, it's not a 2018 F-250 or whatever. Uh, stuff like that would probably stick with OEM, but where it's Ford Probe, 31 years old, it's kind of hard to find OEM stuff. <laughs> so... Um, I asked other people what they've used and this was definitely recommended by a lot so the gates um, I'll show you the <coughs> timing kit so uh, it came with that the water pump and obviously a timing belt and then there's That's the water pump gasket right there. That, I'm not sure. That's the O-ring, I think, that's the place on the water pump. And then there's the, the idler pulley. And the tensioner pulley. And I think that's it. So, but yeah, all that. That's the old stuff. So, yep. <clears throat> this is power grip. And this one. Gates. This is power grip too. So, right here, anyways, gates. So, that must be Gates. So that says power grip on it. That's the old one. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have no idea if the timing belt has ever been done on this car. I think it has, but I don't really know. So, so now uh, I gotta clean it up and get the old gasket off of there and see what it's talking about for the o-ring well no some of them have an o-ring but this one does not it has a gasket so cool um i'll try and show you the engine block where it is at it's not very easy getting the camera up in there That's where the water pump goes. Gotta clean that off. The gasket is right here. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool.
I need to put this, the top piece up under here first and then uh, push in the bottom. Of course, you know, the gasket is all over the place. I could probably put something on it, but I don't really know. I guess I don't really dare to right now. But. <clears throat> So this gasket's being a pain in the ass, so I'm going to put a little bit of RTV on it, uh, hopefully to keep it in place while I'm installing it because it's not working. <laughs> and I might put some on this too, just so I can, that can stay in place. It's not a big deal, but... So it's in place, but the bolt holes are just a little bit not lined up. Just enough so I cannot get nothing threaded in. <clears throat> Finally getting them in there. says 14 to 19 foot pounds 14 to 19 they're not sure if they want to do 14 15 maybe 16 18 i don't know <laughs> so weird
So I guess I'm gonna try 19 foot pounds. Just kinda gonna feel it out. There. So 19 foot pounds felt okay. <clears throat> um, the so I put RTV on or the you know the black silicone RTV yeah. And so I put it on the gasket a little bit in certain places to keep the gasket held there. Um, I went and asked my husband if that was okay. I kind of had the idea that that would be all right, but I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to put a crap load on there because um, yeah, I don't want it to go into a water pump or anything like that. So I just put enough on there to hold the gasket in place so I can put it up underneath there. It took a few tries. <laughs> it was a little bit frustrating, but I got it and torqued it all down. So now I guess I can start, um, probably clean up the oil pan and stuff and get that on. And um, then after that, I can start putting on the idler pulley and the tensioner for the timing belt. Okay, so next I gotta install this oil pan stiffener thingy and then installing the the gasket and the for the pickup tube the oil strainer and then oil pan so use an rtv for the stiffener Here's the gasket. Oops. So the instruction said that the stiffener needs to have silicone sealer on both sides. So I put it on one side and then I'm gonna put it on this side right here with the gasket. Might put a little bit on this side as well. Just to
Oh, there's another pony. New. Sounds better. Well, I got that on there. It's not super tight. didn't give me a new spring which they didn't which is pretty silly oh boy maybe oh wait not for that for a minute Well, I'm going to put the video, that one, to an end there. Um, and so, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Wait till the next one.